Welcome back. Up next, we have Nikodem Graziak, uh, yeah, from DTrade, talking about accelerating the DeFi stack on Polkadot. Welcome to Polkadot Decoded, and the stage is yours. Hey, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, great to be here. My name is Nico, and I'm excited to present DTrade to you. In this talk, I will introduce the products talk a bit about the market that DTrade is going after and share the development progress. DTrade will be available from both a web app and a phone app. And in the later part of the talk, I will show you the demo of the mobile trading application. Okay, let's begin. So DTrade is a decentralized exchange for perpetual swaps and options on Polkadot. It is designed such that the community of token holders owns and controls it. DTrade is built on Edgeware, which is a smart contract chain within Web3, uh, which has been live for over a year. Edgeware will become a parachain in a few months and will allow DTrade to connect with protocols on other parachains. On this chart, you see that the perpetual swaps are a very popular way to trade cryptocurrencies nowadays. Perpetual swaps are a type of futures contracts which do not expire. They are liked by traders because they offer easy access to leverage and short selling. But you see that right now, centralized exchanges dominate the perpetual swap market and decentralized exchanges capture less than 1% of the trading volumes. Ultimately though, decentralized exchanges offer more transparency than centralized exchanges and remove custodial risks. They also allow traders to um, access to a wide universe of assets. For example, on Uniswap, anybody can add a token for trading. Lastly, uh, they are better. Uh, they are just better value proposition for the traders. This is because decentralized protocols have the ability to distribute value to the users of the, of the protocol uh, with some sort of reward or revenue share programs. And this is in contrast to centralized exchanges where the profits generated by the exchange flow directly to the company behind it. Here you see where DTrade is positioned. So DTrade is going to be the first to market derivatives exchange on Polkadot. We are optimistic about the future of Web3 and about the growth prospects of DeFi and crypto derivatives. After all, uh, derivatives are by far the largest market in traditional finance. Here, let me pull up a quick disclosure required by our lawyers. Uh, DTrade is governed by a decentralized autonomous organization. The products on DTrade are not available for US persons or residents of any country subject to US sanctions. Okay. With that out of the way, let me share a bit about the products and the development progress. The first two components of DTrade, the DAO, uh, which is the governance module modules, and the insurance fund contracts are currently undergoing audits. We have two additional audits scheduled to start within a month. The futures exchange is live on a private testnet and the options exchange is currently in the early stages of development. Okay, let's talk about these components in more detail. The first component that will launch in June this year is the insurance, insurance fund mining program. On this slide, you see the user interface. We built a bridge between uh, Edgeware and Ethereum so that upon landing here, you will see your USDC and DET balances on both Edgeware and Ethereum. You'll be able to swap assets between these two blockchains and stake USD into the liquidity program on DTrade. The goal of this program is to bootstrap the insurance fund before the launch of the exchange. And the insurance fund is a very important component of any exchange that uh, allows for trading with leverage. And it is simply a pool of capital, which um, makes sure that the exchange is kept capitalized and fair. For example, imagine a losing long trade that gets liquidated below the bankruptcy price. And what this means is that a trade is closed with a negative balance. And so to keep the exchange uh, capitalized, the insurance fund steps in and compensates for this negative balance. Uh, as part of this program, for 12 months, whoever helps to bootstrap the insurance fund will be rewarded with tokens. 
here is the interface for the second iteration of the futures exchange. Uh, it is currently under development. Like I said, the first iteration is complete and running on Edward Testnet. Uh, this exchange in principle can support trading pairs on derivatives on assets from any asset class. And the collateral and settlement on this exchange are denominated in the USDC stablecoin. Here is the dashboard to uh, the options exchange. The options offering is in the early stages of development, but it will be ready for launch before the end of the year. Uh, we're also working on deploying rollups on top of Polkadot for nearly instant transaction settlement. Those also will be ready by the end of the year. Okay, let me wrap up by recapping where we are. So the smart contracts the, for the governance, the token and the insurance fund uh, are currently being audited. The insurance fund mining program is set to go live within a few weeks. We built a bridge between Ethereum and Edgeware using ChainSafe's chain bridge template. The bridge serves two purposes. One, it allows USDC to be mapped over from Ethereum to Edgeware and used on Dtrade. And two, the bridge allows users to wrap Dtrade's native governance token and use it on Ethereum. The bridge is currently running on testnet and we are working with validators to take it to mainnet. Lastly, we've been working with legal counsel towards building a compliant derivatives exchange. And here as promised, uh, I would like to show you the, the demo of the mobile app. So here we have the first version of the Dtrade mobile application. To get started, we swipe up. We're working on building our mobile wallet, but so far we have built a trading app. So for the purpose of this demo, we will sign in using a private key. Once we confirm and continue, we land on the main dashboard where you can see the list of various assets available for trading. Before we buy some DOT, let's switch to dark mode. All right, let's go long DOT. We can now adjust leverage. Let's go with 4x. Here, you submit the desired trade size. And once you're done, you simply swipe up to submit the order. Once the transaction is confirmed, we'll go back to the main dashboard and market close the position. Let's hit market close. Swipe up. And there we have it. A trade is successfully closed. This is an early demo. Within the next few months, we will also have the mobile wallet component as well as an advanced version of this mobile trading app. Again, thanks very much to the community who voted for us to present at the conference. We are very excited about building in the ecosystem and we look forward to making it stronger together. Please join the discussion group on Telegram and stay in touch. Thank you so much. That was a really cool. I think everyone was really excited to see the demo of the app. And I, I it's really good to see that teams are working together in this ecosystem. You're built on Edgeware, you're work using ChainSafe's work on the bridge, uh, and we actually do have a question about that bridge uh, in, from the chat. So um, is the bridge only for your specifically to uh, Dtrade or is it in general to Edgeware that you've helped uh, develop this? That's a really good question. So we are the first project building on Edgeware right now. So we kind of have to build everything from scratch. And for that reason, we, we built this bridge for Dtrade, but this bridge will become the go-to bridge for the entire Edgeware uh, community. So all of the projects that build on Edgeware in the future will use, uh, we use, will use the bridge that we've built. Sounds great to hear. Um, just one more question is uh, the native governance token. What kinds of things would this be used for uh, on Dtrade? Uh, so, like I mentioned, the exchange will be completely governed by the token holders. And so the token, in fact, will launch with no utility. Uh, and all of the subsequent utilities will be decided by the token holders in uh, governance votes. So it's up to the imagination of whoever 
uh, proposes and votes on these governance proposals. In principle, it could be anything. Nice launch process. Kind of reminds me of how Polkadot started. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you so much for your talk and we'll, we'll see you soon. Thanks also, take care.